Hi everyone, it's Mel from the Pet Shop Boys. Today I thought I'd talk to you about some dogs that are suitable for different types of lifestyles. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is dogs that are suitable for parents with babies. Uh, I think the first one would be a pug. They're a happy-go-lucky little dog. Um, fairly low maintenance, so you'll have more time to spend with the babies that we all know take a lot of maintenance. And they're very easy to maintain. So they do shed a little coat, so you will have to factor that in, but they are a happy little dog and easy to get along with most animals and uh, you know, non-aggressive. Um, for those who like a, a bigger dog, I would also recommend a greyhound. They're very docile, they're a laid back dog, they sleep for the majority of the day, they, you know, admittedly they take up a little more room, but they are a better dog for a baby and for people who don't have a lot of time to walk dogs. Just a walk a day um, and they're good to go. Um, you know, suitable foods for them would be, for the pugs, you're looking at a small breed kibble. So a smaller kibble, Advance make a good product um, along those lines. And for a greyhound, just a premium like weight control. Because they don't exercise a lot, you want to make sure you keep their weight under control. Next lifestyle is families with children under 10. Um, so they're, they're past the baby, toddler stage to 10 year old. Um, breeds I'd recommend would be a golden retriever. They're a happy-go-lucky dog. They're a lovable dog. Everybody knows golden retrievers. They know how patient they are with children. And, you know, they're very trustworthy dogs. Uh, they do have a, a medium to long coat, so they will take a little to maintain in terms of coat. Uh, we have lots of brushes and shampoos and that that will help you maintain that coat so they look the beautiful golden colour that they are. The second breed that I think would suit this category is the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Um, a surprising choice, I guess, for most, but they are actually a really fantastic dog with families. Uh, nicknamed the Nanny Dog, just because they're so fantastic with children. They're very trustworthy with their families and, and just a lovely dog to have around the home. Smooth coated, but they will drop some of that coat, so you'll have a bit of coat to, to maintain. Um, a good food for them would be a, a food like Canaday, uh, which is like low, a grain free product, which is low in allergens. So. Some, some staffies can have a bit of a problem with their skin. Canada will go a long way to help ensure that that doesn't happen. Next lifestyle category we're looking at is um, young active people. Um, the very best breed for a very active person, I believe personally, is a Border Collie. Maybe that's because it's my breed of choice, um, but they are a very active dog. They need a lot of stimulation, they need a lot of exercise, they need lots of training. So if you have plenty of time and you are super, super active and you want to make a dog a part of your life, then a Border Collie is absolutely for you. Um, they are a medium to long coated breed, so they need at least a weekly brush and a shampoo with a good shampoo. And they also need an active diet, so a food that's um, geared towards an active breed. Advance make a, an active formula um, and Black Hawk also make an active formula. Um, two of the many, many um, lots of food that are out there. The breed that I would suggest for this category or this type of person would be a Weimaraner. They're a really active dog, they're highly intelligent as well and they need to have some stimulation. If you don't give Weimaraners a job to do, they will find a job to do and nine times out of ten it'll be something that you don't want them to do. So these two breeds really fit in well with this type of person. I wouldn't recommend them for, for busy working people or people who have young children because they just take up too much time. A Weimaraner has a smooth coat so they don't need to be groomed out as much as the Border Collies but they still need a bit of maintenance in terms of nail clipping and looking after the inside of their ears because their ears are long and droopy, they, you have to keep the ear clean and we have products here to help you do that.
The next category we're going to talk about are breeds that are suitable for the elderly in our community. Ruben's my little co-host here and he's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They're a very happy little dog, always wagging their tail and always love to be around their people. He, Ruben is only a puppy, so they don't grow a lot bigger than this, so they're a great size for the elderly. So they'll fit well into like smaller homes or units. Um, as long as they get a bit of a walk every day, um, they're kept happy and they're a great little dog. Uh, they take a little bit of grooming because they have semi-long hair around their ears. So the same ear problems that you'll have with the Weimaraner. So you just need to keep inside their ear clean and feed them a good kibble for a small breed, like advanced toy and small breed kibble. Another breed I think is suitable for the elderly in our community is the Bichon. They're a gorgeous, spunky little dog, um, full of life, but fit in well with, within a unit uh, as long as they get a walk every day. Now their coats are a little higher in maintenance. They would need to be clipped off regularly and groomed quite regularly. So they do take a little bit of work to maintain, but they are absolutely worth it in the long run. Uh, as with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, I'd feed them a small breed kibble and I'd use a whitening shampoo to, to clean them with just to keep that white coat sparkling white. The last one I want to talk about is for people who live in townhouses or units. Just because you live in a townhouse in a unit and don't have a big backyard, it doesn't mean you shouldn't have the pleasure of owning a dog and there are certainly dogs for you. The first breed would be a Pomeranian, tiny little dog, uh, doesn't take up a lot of room, doesn't need a lot of room, but what it does need is a little bit in terms of grooming. They have a big plush double coat that needs to be groomed regularly. But they're a really happy little dog, um, quite a feisty little dog, so they'll certainly let you know if there is anybody coming to your door, but they are just a lovely little dog to live with. Um, they don't take up a lot of room and really great for those who live in units. Uh, a little walk um, once a day is all they would need in terms of exercise. Um, because they live in a unit, I would recommend that you give them plenty of toys. Our Kong range is a great one to look at. Um, all little, we have lots of great toys for little breeds in our Kong range, and I would certainly give them plenty of stimulation in terms of toys while you're out and about, they've got something to do. Another breed I think would be suitable for someone in a unit would be a Chihuahua. They're a feisty little breed, but they're a great companion for their owners. Um, I would take a little care when you have visitors around because they do get quite protective of their owners, and even though they're small, they still have jaws and a teeth and teeth. So they're a great little breed, um, quite easy to maintain. They come in a smooth coat or a long coat, but both are reasonably easy to keep clean and reasonably easy to take care of. As with the Pomeranian, they will need a lot of stimulation inside because they are quite an active little dog in that regard. A little walk once a day would be ample for them, but whilst they're inside, they need things to keep them stimulated. So I would look at things like um, you know, the Kong toys in terms of the, the ones that you stuff with food, they will give them something to do and make them think about how they get that food out. Um, it's, it makes their mind tick over and it's a good little toy for them to have when they're inside.